Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Jurassic Park for the Sega CD. When we were last together, we had collected quite a lot of eggs. We got ourselves the Triceratops eggs, the T-Rex eggs, and the Brachiosaurus eggs. And now we are going after the Raptor eggs. These are the most challenging of them to all to get. Or at least I would say the most challenging of them all to get. But first, we're going to take a listen to some of the news that Headquarters has for us. When Dr. Sadler was on the island, she helped Dr. Harding, the veterinarian, with a sick Triceratops. He worked out a treatment for the illness and carried injectors in his Jeep. Dr. Harding also told her not to honk the Jeep horn at the Triceratops set. Did it drive them nuts? <laughs> they obviously had fun making this game. But that's the clue on how to handle the Triceratops that you saw us do, I think, in the first episode. But they have bad news for us. More bad news. We've got positive ID on that aircraft. It's a helicopter registered to Biosyn Corporation. Those are the guys who hired Nedry to steal oh, the dinosaur DNA. That's from a problem. Yeah, it looks like they're trying again. We're getting some interference. Hello, nice of you to join me. I represent. Well, I guess it doesn't matter who I represent now, does it? Our people will arrive on the island in three hours. And we're after the same thing you are, so just stay in the visitor center. Should only take us about 30 minutes to complete our work. We don't want to hurt you. But if you get between us and those dinosaur eggs, well, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Just leave the eggs alone and stay out of our way. That's not so good. We're losing it. We found another helicopter to pick you up, but Biosyn got to that one too. There's nothing else that can reach you before they get there. You're stranded. Okay. We know that Biosyn's chopper will be landing in the next few hours. Collect as many of the eggs as you can before they show up. I'll try to arrange some sort of a backup transport. Hang in there. Well, the only thing we can do at this point is go after those uh, raptor eggs. So. Let's go get them. Okay, the raptors are up this way. They are hanging out in the mountains for some reason. Alright, there is the last kiosk of the game. There's some copies over here being noisy. We're gonna let them be. We don't have anything we can do with them right now. Velociraptor. The ultra fast razor kickboxer. Okay, Doc, what have you got to tell us? The Velociraptor family has many species, all deadly. The one on the island is a giant called Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor was fast, up to 40 miles per hour, and a tremendous jumper. Utah Raptor was a kickboxing dinosaur with razor sharp claws on the front paw and back paw. Raptors had huge brains, and they would work together in packs in hunting and for protecting their young. Utah Raptor, Raptor had large eyes, effective vision. Both eyes and ears faced forward so it could see and hear in stereo. 
Many smart predators today use burrows or caves to raise their young. Leopards do that, so do hyenas. Oh, Raptors were by horrible. far the smartest dinosaur predators. And if there were caves around, they'd take advantage of them for raising their young. Raptors were so smart that if they were alive in a zoo today, they would learn to recognize tools and weapons. Okay, that's all that they have to tell us about the Velociraptors right now. Now, the Velociraptor area is, is tough, and it's fast-paced. And a lot of it, I don't remember how you're supposed to get clues on what to do. It's just me doing what I can remember from memory, and from having read stuff like Game Informer and Mega Magazine when I was a kid. So, as you see, we can't actually get in there, but we can do something with these rocks. And what we're going to do is huck our rocks at it and knock them out of place. Here come the compies. If we look around, there we go, there's another rock. We're going to need that for a little later. And I do mean a little later, probably like... Oh, probably like 40 seconds or so. Now we can go in to the enclosure, but it's going to be dark in there. And luckily we have the night vision goggles, so we can see what's going on. But there are going to be raptors everywhere. So we can't dolly, dally. We have to keep moving. And I'm just going to start zipping around, so forgive me if I don't explain where we're going or what we're doing. This is stuff we got to do quickly. Alright, now that we're in here, the first thing we're going to do is grab another rock that's immediately over to our right. It might be hard to see, but it's right here. And we're going to take those stairs. Make sort of raptor tail zip right by us. Now, right in front of us, we have a, I guess, a pool of water. Filtration system, yeah. And we're going to drop our rocks down here. So we can fill the water bubble. Raise the level of the water. Because there's a key card in there. And we're going to need that key card to keep going through this area. And we're going to zip right here out into the open. Now, those caves in front of us have raptors in them. And the raptors are going to want to come out and check us out. What we're going to do use our key card over here to open that door. Now that door is going to need a few seconds to open, just like a Rex door. Now while it's taking its time to open, Rexters are going to come out of these six caves. Now luckily, we have the gas gun. We can put them down real quick. Ah! That was real close, you almost got me. Raptors hit hard. One strike will deplete about half your life. Ah, but we're lucky. See how we have three raptors on screen right now that are passed out? As long as they stay on screen, no other raptors will, will spawn in. So if I look to the left or right, that's when the raptors will come in. But at this point, the gate should be open. So we're just going to turn and run. Ah, no, it's not. Of doing that. Opening Thank you. Ah, see, there's half our life. And we're dead. Alright, we are back. So we're going to try this again. We've got to use the key card on the door. We want to be quick about it. Now we should be lucky. 
Raptors should not spawn in anymore, as long as all three of them are right here. 15 seconds. I do have to use the key card again. Door is opening now. Nope, we are running in there. And again, we are just going to be quick. Because fighting raptors in, in, uh, in the caves is suicide. Takes you to get here. But now we're going to take care of these copies. We're just going to scare them away with our stunner and take their eggs. Alright, back to the visitor center. expecting to see something over here, and we will soon. But let's deposit our eggs and save our game. And if we need to, we'll heal. I think we're doing okay. See, now we have the Velociraptor key. We can get anywhere we like now. But luckily, we have nowhere else we have to go. The Raptor area is usually best saved for last, because you need all those stones to get through it. And there we go. We have three Brachiosaurus eggs, two Dilophosaurus eggs, 11 Gallimimus, Six Compi, one Triceratops, two Rex, and eight Raptors. For a total of 33 eggs safe. And we got three and a half hours to spare. What are we going to do for the next three and a half hours? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there is another special game over state. And that is when you run out of time. But all that really happens is Emily shows up and says, What's wrong with you? Couldn't you have finished it in time? And then you get a game over. But she does have something she wants to tell us. Yeah, there's a good idea. We'll go have a fist fight with the T-Rex for the next three hours. Then we'll get into a knife fight with the Velociraptors, and we'll share baking tips with the Brachiosaurs. Final warning. Bison's almost there. They've got some kind of a jammer on board, so this is the last message I'll be able to send you for a while. We found your transportation, sort of. Biosyn is a lot more interested in grabbing DNA than they are in hunting you. As soon as they touch down, they'll be moving fast, looking for eggs. If you're quick, you might be able to slip past them and take their helicopter. I'd love to see their faces when they see their ride lifting off without you. So, that's the idea from our great leader. We're going to steal Biasin's helicopter. 
Well, we haven't seen where the helicopter is yet. So that's a problem. But luckily, I know where it is. And the game is about to tell us where it is. Oh, there we go. Here's a helicopter, and it's flying westward? No, northwards. Towards the Gallimimus and the Galapasaur area. So that's where we're going to go. Now, this is the only Galapasaur, not Galapasaur, this is the only Gallimimus that respawns. We could use our gas gun on him, but we're just going to take him down with a trank. Now we, we are going to switch back to our gas gun. Because we don't get to just go to the helicopter and fly away. The helicopter is under armed guard, so we're going to have to use our non-lethal gas gun and Trank Gun to take down armed Biosyn mercenaries. Wish me luck. Okay, the first two are over here. Now, we can put them down with the gas gun. Now that he's down, a third one shows up. And that is a Frogman in the water. Now, I remember my little kid Ed brain thinking, how could I put this guy down with a gas gun? Isn't he wearing a breath mask or something? And it ends up my little dumb kid brain was right. You have to use a trank gun to put him down. Let's see if I can put him down. Okay. Now there's one last guy left. He can be put down with a gas gun. It's provided I can get to him with he gets to me. He's back over here. He goes. And we can just go to the helicopter and call it a day. Ooh, I got it on my first try. I knew you could do it. If anyone could get those eggs away from Biosyn, you were the one. Congratulations. I'll see you when you get back. Woohoo! And thanks. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jurassic Park for the Sega CD. Now, I had played this game when I was a young kid. I actually had a Sega CD, but I only had a handful of games. And this was one of them. Now, this game I actually think is a lot of fun because I love when you click adventure games. And if I remember correctly, it was actually voted as one of the best games on the Sega CD system. Now, if you want to go out and play this game, your options are terribly limited. It's only available on Sega CD to the best of my knowledge. And unfortunately, the Sega CD system was not very well received. So it's probably difficult and expensive for you to go out and find a Sega CD. As for the game itself, even though it was voted one of the 10 best or whatever uh, Sega CD games, the, the game itself in the system didn't take a while, so it may not be easy to find copies. But, if you do happen to find copies, they shouldn't be too expensive, because there isn't a whole lot of demand for them. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed us going through Jurassic Park for the Sega CD. And maybe we'll get to see some other games for the Sega CD. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves.